Hi, my name is Valerie, and I'm going to take you on my journey of no poo hair care. So no poo stands for no shampoo, which also means no conditioner. Basically, the idea is to try and limit the amount of chemicals that are on your head and preventing your hair from being the best it can be. Well, I have been thinking about this for a while because my hair is really sensitive to shampoos and conditioners that are on the market. I grew up using L'Oreal Olay and anytime I use something outside of that product, it dried my hair out really badly. Like I could move my head back and forth and I could hear it rustle. It was like wearing a bunch of straw on top of my head. And when the L'Oreal Olay products where they stopped being produced, I was like, oh no, what are we gonna do? But my mom and I, because my mom has hair like mine, we started using the Dove products and they worked. So they were a lifesaver there. But I always kind of thought, well, what if Dove stopped making shampoo and conditioner? They probably won't. They're a pretty big company, but anything outside of those types of products, my hair doesn't do well doesn't matter if it's Pantene or a Suave or the Fructis stuff, it doesn't matter. It dries out my hair really badly. So I've heard that no poo will help with reducing frizz and oil production and static in your hair, as well as a few other things. And in the wintertime, my hair gets a lot of static. And at the time I thought it was frizz, but it's very staticky and dry. And in general, my scalp is very oily. So I'm hoping that it will help to make my hair a little bit more manageable that way. And I, I think the thing that made me really start to want to do this is I made the mistake of buying a conditioner that is oil therapy for frizzy hair. Because like I said, I thought I had frizzy hair. Turns out oil, even though it might control frizz, it doesn't control static. I still have staticky hair. And the oil combined with the oil from my scalp, it was too much oil. I went to the point where I was just shampooing my scalp and I was conditioning just the ponytail part of my hair. And it didn't really help because I was just using shampoo on my scalp. My scalp was producing a lot of oil and it just, it was way too much. And I was trying to limit my showers every three or four days. And by like the second day, you could tell my hair was starting to get really dark from the oil buildup. And by day three and day four, like it would be dark about halfway down my hair just because of the oil on my scalp and the oil that was in my hair is just way too much. So I got down to the last few inches of my bottle and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. I've had this stupid stuff for over a year and I'm just going to get rid of it and I'm going to try doing this. So my first shower was June 1st, 2019. This is actually day two. As you can see, my hair is really light and I've got like little flyaways and stuff up here because there's no conditioner holding it down. And um, so my schedule is hopefully baking soda and apple cider vinegar it mixed with water every three or four days. And if I feel that I need to rinse or wash in between that, um, something where it's either just water or maybe one of the other mixes that are out there, like a honey rinse or an egg mask or something with lemon oil or um aloe vera uh, juice or something like that to try and clean it but not over clean it like you would if you were going to use say the baking soda every couple of days and i'm hoping that this will be a better option for cleaning my hair and we'll see how it goes so i've already measured out my ingredients in our blue spray bottle, we have a tablespoon of baking soda. In our green spray bottle, we have a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. All I have to do is mix each one with a cup of water and I'm ready to take my shower.
It's been about four days since my last shower, and as you can see, the oil therapy conditioner makes my hair greasy and dirty and kind of stringy. So I just finished my first shower with the no shampoo method, baking soda and apple cider vinegar. And I had the biggest scare of my life. I was not expecting this at all. So I put, I sprayed with the little blue bottle, the baking soda and water all over my hair. And I let it sit there while I washed out the inside of the bottle. And when I was rubbing it into my hair, it's deceiving because the baking soda makes your hair feel really slippery. When you rinse it out with water, all of the moisture leaves your hair. It stuck to my fingers, it stuck to itself, it didn't want to move, and it just felt really dry. And I freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, I just ruined my entire head of hair. It was terrifying. So while I'm freaking out, I'm looking at my little green bottle filled with apple cider vinegar and water, and I'm saying, you're supposed to be conditioner. I don't know if you can fix this. You had better fix this because I do not want my hair to be a big dry mess. So I gathered my courage and I sprayed it all over my hair and I let it sit for a few minutes like I did with the first bottle while I was cleaning it out. And when I went to finally go and rinse it out of my hair, it was able to move again. It didn't cling to itself so much. It didn't cling to my fingers as much. You definitely have to let the items sit in your hair for a couple of minutes so that they work to their full effectiveness. But it was definitely scary because I've never done it before and I was not expecting that. Everybody tells you at the end product, oh my gosh, it's so great, I love it, it my hair is much more manageable now. But they don't tell you that, oh, by the way, the baking soda is going to dry your hair out completely. So even though it was really scary, I'm glad I went through the entire process. And we'll see what it looks like when my hair is finally dry. So my hair has been air drying for a little bit. It's not completely dry, but already I can tell that my hair is really soft, which is nice. So I have heard other people, they like to put essential oils in their hair just to make it smell good because the apple cider vinegar tends to give off a little bit of a musty smell. Well, I luckily have this uh, Nature's Bounty Earthly Elements Lemongrass Aroma Therapy Essential Oil. And I'm just going to do what everyone else is doing and dab a couple drops of this onto my hair. It's going to smell really nice. Okay. Just put a couple drops in my hands. And then just kind of smooth it on and it should help my hair to smell a little bit nicer in case anyone goes to hug me. So after my first no shampoo shower, my hair is finally dry and there are a few things that I noticed right away that bother me a little bit. So one, my scalp is just a little bit itchy in places and I think that might be because of the fact that the baking soda was so harsh and drying to my hair that it also dried out my scalp. The next thing that I notice is that my hair, even though it's really soft from the apple cider vinegar, it is it does still feel a little bit dry. And that leads to the third thing that I notice is that my hair tangles pretty easily. So when I use shampoo and conditioner from the store, my hair was never to the point where it would tangle. It was always really smooth and I could probably just comb my hair out once after my shower was over and I wouldn't have tangles for the majority of the day. But this, I wasn't even outside walking around. I was 
inside just doing what I need to do and I went into the bathroom after uh, applying the lemongrass oil to my hair when my hair was still a little bit damp because that's the first time I combed it out. I went back in there and I was like, huh, my hair looks kind of messy. So I went to go comb it out and it was full of tangles. And so I think the main problem is the amount of baking soda is just too much for my hair and scalp right now. So the next time in maybe about three or so days when I go to take my next shower, instead of using an entire tablespoon of baking soda in one cup of water, I'll try cutting it down to half a tablespoon of baking soda and see if that helps to not dry my hair and scalp out so much. I also notice another thing is I don't have as much volume in my hair as I do when I use a a store-bought shampoo and conditioner and I think that's because with my hair being very straight and very I wouldn't say thin but I would say very fine that the store-bought conditioners and shampoos would give my hair a lot of volume so not having that and just having something very natural it just makes it seem a little more limp than what it would normally be so I'd been doing some research just trying to look up what other people's experiences were if they had this sort of thing and there were multiple people who said that they used less or more baking soda depending on how their hair reacted to it and there's one person who used half of a teaspoon of baking soda in her water to shampoo her hair and her hair reacted much better to it because it didn't her hair didn't have as much oil in it as mine did. So I'm hoping that this change will be more positive for my scalp and my hair.